Hello, today you'll find there's a little thing there saying that it's a paid promotion. Well, it's not. I actually paid for this out of my own pocket. Well, my wife's pocket, but don't tell her. And um, this is all what we've got. We've actually got two of these. We bought one. It was so good, we bought another one. Thought you might be interested. If you like what you see, there are some links in the description, both to the Amazon store and to my own website, where you can then click through, and if you decide to buy something, the channel will get a slight commission but it won't cost you any more but i just want to repeat that i bought this out of my own money and anything i say about it is down to me i think you can see there it comes in a very sturdy box it's nicely produced where you've got the uh, predator logo on it it's actually an acer machine the predator orion 3000 and it's a gaming computer but um, the only difference between this and a business computer is it's got pretty lights on it. So you know, I thought we'd go for this because we couldn't get hold of the business version. But this one's got pretty lights. And we'll see how we get on. Let's get the box open. And it's um, one of these things you've got to be a bit careful because if you push the card you will slash something inside. There we go. And what is that? That is the, <laughs> it's the idiot guide to how to connect it up. Which is fine because it's the sort of thing I need and um, there we go open it up and you'll find that there is a lack of information in terms of books there are no big books in this thing but we do have this pull out guide which we'll pull out in a second and oh, right, there we go and it's very pretty it's got the predator logos on it and things but uh, it's very good quality paper but nothing on that side so let's turn it over yeah, there we go, that's better. Now, all you can see on here is it says plug the HDMI into the HDMI, plug the USB into the USB, plug the mains into the mains, and uh, plug the Ethernet into the Ethernet. It doesn't actually say anything more than that. I'm guessing that uh, the actual instructions, if you want them, are on the machine itself. So a comprehensive bag of leads. I say comprehensive, let's just pack them there. And um, so you've got the power lead and that kind of thing. And then we, we've got, it's nice to, this foam, this white polystyrene foam is very good. It's very, very dense. That is a glass side panel. Because it's a gaming machine, it has pretty lights and a glass side panel. It comes with a black side panel to start with. And if you want to, you can make it up and really flash. It's um, sturdy. It's quite heavy actually. I was surprised how heavy it was. And uh, when we look around here, this is where I found out how heavy it was. It's, um, you need to bid up. Now, there's plenty of ventilation on this, so I'm hoping it's going to be reliable. You've got all that ventilation there. You've got uh, the four output for the video there. Speakers, microphone, etc. And um, above that, you had the USBs and the Ethernet, just to show all its credentials on the side there which is uh, run of the mill, I guess. But uh, anyway, you can see there it's an Acer machine. And it's got, but it's definitely a Predator. And uh, not a very good picture there because it wouldn't focus, but it's just telling you the voltages and the wattages. So there we go, nice big fan in the back at the top there. And if we'll get a chance in a little while, if we look around the front, there's a big fan at the front as well. So there's a, uh, several fans it does make a whirring noise but it's um it's very it's almost pleasant it's a bit like a whale song just in the background that you'll probably be able to hear on some of my videos because it's purring away now and uh, that's just one of those things if you want the performance you have to have the fans and if you want the if you've got the fans they're going to make a noise you can see there's some blanks there that have been pushed i don't know what they're for I'm not going to take this thing apart or anything like that. It's just a quick look round and um, I'll run the bit benchmark test for it and you can have a look and see if that's of any interest to you. Now, that label there says, please take this off. That's a, it's a hook for putting your headphones on. Not particularly applicable for where I've got mine located, but you know, it's there. And there's the big fan on the front with the, with the clear bit and there's some heat sinks and things and it's got uh, the stuff you have to pull off to make it look nice 
Yeah, it's just there to. We're not going to do a tech mode peel moment. Just pull it off in a bit. But there we go. It's um, a very nice machine. It's not cheap in terms of uh, how much you're going to pay for it, but it's it's not expensive either. There is a lot more of expensive machines out there for the same specification. We'll cover the specification when I bring up the system thing. So here we go, we'll just have a quick look in the bag, see what's in the bag of leads. You can see that uh, obviously I'm in the UK, so we've got a British kettle plug is, is known. And um, what else have we got there? That's what I want to know. What is that little lead there for? Let's see, I know what that is. That's an English kettle plug. But what the hell is that one? It, it makes no sense. I do not know what it's for. So anybody who knows what it is for, please put some answers in the comments because I'd like to know what it is. I've put it, I've put it somewhere safe. We've got two of them now. I don't know what to use them for. I'm sure they're important. They supply them, so they must be of use. But how, you know. And then you get, because it's a gaming computer, you get some nice stickers. Very nice stickers, I think. Yeah, good quality, the metal effect. But yeah, there's that lead. I was really confused by that, and I still don't know what it is, but I thought we had a bit of a bit of a close up for you. Anyway, okay, so that's the lead. That's enough of the lead. Go away with the lead. Right, a quick look at the stickers. They are quite nice. They're metal filmed, as you can see, and they, they're smart. And I guess if you're into gaming, that's uh, a nice thing to have. We have here the book, the only book that comes with it, and uh, we'll have a, it doesn't say very much in there. It's basically the FCC, etc. safety guide, and um, it sort of tells you not to plug it in and expect to. See, safety and comfort, quick reference guide, plug it in, use that. It doesn't have VGA, so you can't use that, and that's the way it comes out. Now we did have I did have a problem with this because I had a previous machine which had it had VGA and it had HDMI. And uh, one of my monitors is a VGA monitor, so I've had to buy an adapter because the video output on this computer the outputs are three display port and one HDMI. Well, so I had to get an adapter, which was also available from Amazon and I think it wasn't very expensive. But I'll put a link for that in the description as well. And now we'll go on to looking at some of the other stuff like, um, that's what it's replacing, it's an i5 from a long time ago, which was a good good workhorse, but it's uh, it's got too long in the tooth. However, that's where the new one's got to go. So a quick look at the specifications, Windows 11, 11th generation i7, 200, 2.5 gigahertz. It's got quite a lot of stuff there. You can always freeze frame it if it means anything to you, 16 gigabyte of RAM, etc., etc. This is PC user benchmark, as you can see, and it's, I've speeded this up a bit just so that it can... You can see what I did in case I did anything wrong. Any comments in the bits below would be fine. But uh, it downloaded it quite nicely, and then it started to run it. And um, quite simply, it came up with some results. Now, this is the first bit. This is still sped up slightly. But uh, then we're going to go on to the stuff in real time which is one of these zappy games in a minute. That's doing its thing. It's, um, you can criticize my game playing because I don't play games. Well, I might do now, but looking at this, you can see that uh, it's got a good crisp, crisp, clear display output and there's no lag or anything. It really does shoot well. Apparently I did quite, I don't know, mediocre. Um, I managed to hit a few things. Anyway, it was doing its bit. And that was fine. So let's see where we go from there. Now we get to see some results. And um, it would probably mean more to some people than they do to me. But it's running there sort of. It says it's uh, doing all right, really. You've got some big numbers on it. It's for coming up with big it's uh, 100 and something odd percent of this and god knows what percent of that and uh, it seems to be saying everything's in the right direction so I guess it's good 
compared to what I was using before, it is like the difference between chalk and cheese because this thing flies. It really does do the jobs for video processing and for image production and that sort of thing. It does it very, very quick. It is, it is a delight. And it doesn't fall over very often, as in it doesn't crash that often. It does crash because the software is inherently crashable, I guess. But uh, whereas the other one used to crash maybe every five minutes on some stuff. So in conclusion, it was easy to set up. If you know what you're doing, you just plug in a couple of leads from your old computer. So you just plug in the keyboard and the mouse and then you plug in your, any USB things. It worked straight out of the box. It comes with Windows 10, but uh, it asks you if you want to do Windows 11 upgrade straight away, which I did. And um, if you like Windows 11, it's great. I find it a bit different from Windows 10, but there we go. That's just me. It's a really good machine. Would I buy another one? Well, we did. This is the thing. We bought one for my wife. She was working with it. She's had it for a couple of months. And then she said, well, why don't you get one? Because you're struggling with the one you're using. So we did. And I could say, hand on heart, it's been a really good buy. It does what it says on the tin. It, it is quick. Stuff that used to take half an hour to render will render on in this in in real time rather than uh, the time it takes. So a three minute video will take less than three minutes to render in HD, whereas it could have taken up to 20 minutes on the other machine. That's the sort of stuff you get. Anyway, that's that's it. That's If you can answer what that cable's for, that would be most useful. I've got it safely tucked away, don't know where to put it. And um, if you've got any value out of this, and great. This was not meant to be a highly technical specifications run or anything like that. It is merely my observations as somebody who used to build and make computers and that, and uh, now it's turned into an old fart and actually has to just use them. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway, like, subscribe, all the rest of it. Catch you another time. See ya. You may notice a website, www.garrykeepitsimple.com. That's the new website. It's not fully developed yet, but if you'd like to pop along and have a look, be glad to see you.